lost it. I lost it. Well, I thought we would play so. Oh. I mean, they would play so bad that I would wait for them to, <laughs> wait for them to warm up. Yeah. Oh, I'm a little sassy, but okay. he's sassy. Uh oh, sassy. We'll put him in line today. And then now you guys are going to come in together. We're trying to keep you guys back at the baseline, and you guys are trying to come up as a team. One ball. Yep. So we'll, we'll be here for five minutes, and then we'll switch roles, and you guys will be up here. Drop. You got to drop the third. So that's a point for you guys, yep. Okay. So it's zero one, you keep going back. Zero one. Yeah. <laughs> and so another, another key of this uh, this game is I want you guys to focus on like watching your partners drop. So if you hit like a really good drop, I want you to kind of be aggressive on that other player. Look okay. to maybe come in, be aggressive on that next shot. Okay. Just really read what your partner's going to give you. Tie, stay back on the baseline. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Here we go. Oh. So that's the one, David, so it's high. That first one is high. It's net level or higher. Got to stay, stay back. back. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't kind of yeah. crash this net because that's what's going to happen. You're kind of coming in super quick. Yeah. Okay. All right, two to one. Watch the drop. It's good.
Good draw. Yeah. That's the delay. Yeah, yeah, that, that is the, that's the hold one. Um, so let's talk about responsibilities really okay. quick. Okay, so if I'm holding and I'm going to speed up down the middle, who's got what? Me, I'm in the middle. Exactly. Yeah. So if you can, I saw you kind of, I'm not going to say camp, but you were kind of comfortable in your cross court area. Yeah. Remember, you're, that's your responsibility to cover middle. Yeah. So trying to slide over a little bit more, okay. that relieves pressure off David and cover his line. Okay. Yep. 4 1. Two more minutes left. Good ball. Oh. Great, great, great drop. I kind of purposely hit that next one in the middle because I wanted you to get that next one. It was a great drop by the partner. So now crash the tee looking for any middle shots to poach off of. Yep. Great, great drop, Lisa. Area. Make sure your transition, right? Try not to be moving and hitting. In that fifth shot, you're kind of moving. So make sure you're stopped, transition, hit your yeah. shot, and then come up. Is that what you were talking about when you said that's your worst area? This area. This area. So I try to get past it as quick as possible. What's well, what Riley was, yeah, like trying to move through your shot. That's what I yeah. On purpose. A lot of people do, yep. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Left. We're at the kitchen. You guys fill up the baseline now. Your only rule is you got to drive this uh, feed, and then you guys can either drop, drive again, whatever you guys want to do. Just get up to the kitchen. Here we go. You watch it out. So careful, David. I think. My sister Lindsay was nice on one of those to you. Yeah, you remember the one in like the overextending one? Yeah. So if you're feeling yourself, you're back overextending, let it bounce, play a dink. You hit it out of the air, and then now yeah. Lindsay had a high one, she probably. She's being nice. Yeah. No, I'm never nice. <laughs> in one of your videos though, you said get that out of the any, air. Any ball you can, I want you to take out of the air. Okay. But it's gotta be comfortably. If we're feeling ourselves, our hiney sticking out and we're doing one of these. Yeah, you're gonna lose your control because now we're doing this. Okay. That solves a real there. Yeah. That's good. Yep. There you go. You gotta pay attention to my videos. Oh, that's a great shot. Oh. Great ball, Lisa. Incredible ball. Why don't you guys drive more? Like, why don't you Lisa yeah. drive? Oh. She does. I'm not. Oh, yeah. you don't. Because when we play mixed, I'm not her worst spot is in here. So when I, I drive. Oh, you guys are great. I mean, if you stay back and drive, it's the problem. When I drive, they put their inner worst spot. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't only do, you would only do it if Lisa was driving, but... Okay. Yeah. So, so remember, Lisa, you have awesome drives. David, your movement's got to be a little bit better. So, let me just break it down for you. So, Lisa's hitting the drive. David, you were coming in straight forward like this. We just want to tweak it just a little bit. You're close. Instead of going straight ahead, now we got to go straight to the tee. That's your movement coming right here. Because most likely the ball is going to be in the middle of the next one. When I drive, should it be in the middle? Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time. Okay, because we've been in the middle of the middle. And that's not a bad shot. Yeah, either. going to females good. Yeah. Going to females good. Middle creates but a lot of confusion. But if I'm setting it up for him, I need to go middle, right? Or, or to the girl, but mostly the middle. Okay. The lower part of the net. That's the higher part, right? Higher percentage, right? Okay. Yep, yep. It's going to feel kind of weird crashing to the center, because you're going to feel like you leave this whole area open. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, right, right. Make sure you gotta you gotta watch her trajectory, right? It's high, it's above the net, she's able to come down. So just really you gotta see it quick off her paddle. One more. Okay, here comes the drive. Let's see one more. Let's end on the better one. Really pause and transition as you're making contact. Here we go. Drive. Keep coming. Oh, man. That's right. Okay, now you guys are up. We have to drop everyone. We're going to work our way up to the kitchen. Okay, let me restart.
we play to lob, you think? Is that your only option, really? Well, where I, I know I got you kind of covered going middle. I was going to go back because I've set up that pattern a few times, but so I thought if I lob, this might be covered there, and I would get that one. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, couple things you can do when you're off the court and your opponents push you off here. Yeah. Really have two options. I mean, I know I hit a lob there, and I should, probably shouldn't have done it. But you either got to go soft down the line or soft middle. If we're trying to like, most of the times when we bail out, we have to be really good with either a lob. So I don't suggest it. That's why it's got to be either soft line or soft middle. Because now you're bailing out from here. Now you're telling your partner, okay, have fun. You got all that court to deal with. So it's just go soft, gives you time to then come back here. Okay. Only really play there. Okay. Okay. That's Okay, last one here. Nice shot. It's good. Hey, cut. Jam me up. Okay, that's good. Let's get a quick water break and then we'll move on to play some games. Good job. See that shot against that handcuff right there? <laughs> I'm egging him on so when we play for the tip, he goes at me 100% instead of this 50% stuff. Alright, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and that bell notification. Thanks.